Welcome to Land Academy. I'm Jack Butella. I'm Jill DeWitt. We show you how to buy real estate for half of what it's worth. And sell it on the internet really fast. We, we are, are Jack, Jack and Jill, and this, and this is, is the Jack, Jack and Jill, Jill Show, show too. too. With over 15,000 completed transactions, we're the experts at acquiring property. Of all kinds, not just land. For half price and flipping them for way more. All right, let's get this show started. Jack Butella with Jill DeWitt. Hello. Welcome to our show. In this episode, Jill and I talk about making offers to make money. Love it. If that's not an obvious, anyway, <laughs> we'll get into it in a second. But before we do, let's take a question posted by one of our members on the landacademy.com online community. It's free. All right. Rod asks, um, when buying a property from a trust, do I need a document that establishes the grantor is authorized to sign for the trust by the trust to sign? Um, I sure would. This is all you. I totally would. Could you imagine? No, really, it's me. It's me, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> My dad left it all to me. Okay, got it. <laughs> so think of a trust as an, enti- a legal, an entity that is allowed by law to own real estate. Like a company, like an LLC. Like an LLC, like an individual like a married couple. Exactly. And you treat it exactly the same. If you if John Smith is on the deed, John Smith has to sign and convey the deed. Mm-hmm. If uh, and there's just the same thing in a trust. If you flip through it, it's it's not it can get scary because the things some some of them are big like a couple hundred pages. Mm-hmm. There's always one page in there that says this person is allowed to sign property mm-hmm. over. Exactly. So that's what I do when it's like 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 Jack was just saying, if it's an LLC, you can go online and you can see who the managing members are and all that good stuff. You can usually check that out in every state. It's right there. Right. But in this situation with a trust, you can't go on, online and do that. So you do need a you do need the document from the person, and I do get it from them. And I've never had anyone not share it. They've I, so just so you know too, it's not it's not a weird crazy request. I think that sometimes some of our members are like, "Gosh, can I ask for that?" And the answer is yes. I've never had any members, you know, or any sellers say, "Oh no, no, that's personal." Right. No, and I'll and I will tell them, look, and I don't. It, I want the whole document too. I don't want just pages one, five, and nine. You know, I want the whole thing just just to cover my. It's it's a, maybe it's a Jill thing, but just to cover my whatever. I want to scan the whole thing. I'm really not looking for personal information about who's getting this, the Yadro collection. I don't really care. But I know seriously, I saw a Yadro store you did? the other day. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. a, I'll tell you about that in a second. Okay. So anyway, that's why it's on my mind. But I don't really care about that. But I do want to have should. Should it, I need to ever show someone I had the whole real document, you know, um, maybe it's a bigger property too and I'm going through escrow, whatever, and I'm going to hand it over. But anyway, but you do need to have that and it's spelled out right in there. And then my second point is, because this comes up too, how do they sign? Um, and what's what's the, the format? There usually is a template. I mean... You can go look through past deeds in our, gosh, in our program and see some some ideas of, it's usually a, the name of the person as the trustee for the Smith Family Trust, however it's named. So, um, Next time we do a trust deal, I'm going to put, I'll put the conveyance documents up there. We should share that, make it, I, I could even put it it's in the newsletter and stuff too. It's easy for us because we do it. Oh, put it in the newsletter. I'm going to put it in the newsletter. The no, yeah, I'm going to I'm just, yeah, I'm making a idea. note about that right now. Here's the thing about so. trusts, too. Um, people, so what a trust is, is it, it's really, you know, before I learned about this, years ago, I thought that they were kind of like recorded at the county, but they're not. They're just documents. They're usually a, an attorney. If you go online, people who set up, here's my point. People who set up trusts are extremely organized. They're going to have a, a PDF that they can email you t- to you pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of anybody struggled with that ever and I, I don't think so Mm-mm. they'll have it to, and it's all signed and it's you know nine times out of ten with a trust the person that you are talking to is available to sign you always want to check and I think getting a whole it's probably in most cases harder for them to separate the PDF just the signature page mm-hmm. than and just that one porn just send the yeah. whole thing they usually have it so you're right I guess the only reason they has anybody ever said to you uh, there's some personal stuff in there and I just no. don't okay neither nope never i just said hey just send me a copy of the trust i need the whole thing okay yeah. that's exactly you want me to scan it, it you want to fax it to you i'm right. like you know whatever it's easiest for you that's right. fine and that's really easy and you know what this this whole topic you 
for for all of our members, I don't have any member that's different. Only the very, very first time where they like, oh, it's a trust. Do I need to do anything special? And then once they learn this yep. little thing, then they're like, okay, now I know how to do every so, trust from now on until forever. Yeah. So I mean, the key is to make sure that it, just like with every deed, the grants were in the grantee match. Mm-hmm. And I you mean, have the right I mean, person. to the to the to the character. Mm-hmm. To the period. If there's a period there, put a period. If there's yeah. a, if there's a if it's a Smith if Family a, Trust of nineteen eighty two, make sure you put Smith Family Trust of nineteen eighty two. And if there's a period at the end, put a period at the end. Mm-hmm. You know, get get that fanatical about it. That's it. Because that's that's what the county's looking for when you record it. The 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 recorder and the assessor. They just want to make sure it's the same entity um selling the property now. Yep. Don't get so hung up on it. Just make sure it's a good deal. That's mm-hmm. the whole thing. We should talk about good deals more often. This is true. And less legal paperwork stuff. Don't worry about the paperwork. Yeah. It's a detail. It's little. Exactly. You got this. Join us up at 35,000 feet where Jill and I fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Kate, do you think you could go back like in time and just run everything if you didn't have any people? Oh. Um, how many mistakes would you make? Nah, I would make piece of cake. Sticks. You think so? Oh my gosh. What? Yeah. You think you're that far removed right now? What happens to me is this. No, it, no, no, I'm not that far removed. What happens to me is that once I figure it all out, I don't want to work there anymore. I want to go figure out something else. <laughs> I want to get into the details <laughs> and do stuff. That's kind of funny. <laughs> no, I like it. You know what's really interesting is though, because I've had some few, like some of the deals that we're doing right now with, that, with some of our um, members. There's a couple bigger deals. Yeah, those are fun. So I kind of personally, I, I by choice want to be involved because yeah. it's fun for me. So um, I'm doing some of this stuff. I'm actually posting some things and writing some stuff old school, you know, coming up with it. And you helped me recently, yeah. you know, because I'm like, I haven't done this in a while. I like the maps and stuff. Yeah. I, 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 the engineering piece of this, I really still do enjoy. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I have a team that helps, but it's fun when I get involved. I really like it. I like talking. I truly, sincerely love talking to sellers more than buyers. The buyers are a little bit, sometimes are, there's a lot of tire kickers you have to weed through, so that gets tiring. Every week we get emails like, why don't you guys talk about sales? Because it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> not, when you buy a piece of yeah. property for $100 an acre, it's true. it sells pretty quickly. Yeah. And I'm being satirical. Or just way undervalue. Yeah. I mean, that's really the bottom line, not even the dollar amount. I'm buying, I mean, when you really think about it, it's so true. In our world, we get all jacked up about the purchase because we know what's going to happen, you know? And I'm like, and I can see two days later or two weeks later, you know, someone paid, you know, in the middle of the night, put their credit card in and checked out and bought that property for the price that I wanted it to go for. It's like, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Yep. So it's not as exciting as, look what I'm going to get from this this person they just want yeah. to get rid of them it's great i'm solving this problem for them they're thrilled i'm excited so yeah with houses we find a buyer long before we even get find the seller mm-hmm. so there's no sales of that mm-hmm. at all you know it's we just don't talk about sales yep. i had to bring it up on the air joe because i get probably once a day i get a i get a, somebody emails me that right i concur hey if you have a question or you want to be in the show, reach out to either one of us on landacademy.com. Today's topic is make offers to make money. This is the meat of the show. Could it be any more clear in the title I of this? Know. <laughs> Here's the raw numbers, ready? This is actually the takeaway. If you are correctly mailing offers with a prof- you, and you're using one of the two professional uh, mail companies that we use that have the correct software, you should expect... If you're scrubbing it properly and basically, uh, you know, taking the advice that we generally give about how to do this, you can expect between half of 1% of what you send out. So every, let's just say 1%, between 1 and 5, as high as 10 sometimes percent of the properties you're going to purchase. So if you're going to send 100 letters out properly, you can, you will buy between 1 and 10 pieces of property in general. Mm-hmm. If you're brand new and there's some chances that you're going to might make a few couple of mistakes, you got to lower that percentage. But just call it one out of one out of a hundred, mm-hmm. and it's you know that's staggering the financially what, what can happen mm-hmm. and what does happen to us and many or many 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 of our members. Mm-hmm. For houses, it's about fifteen hundred to two thousand letters that you send out for one, and you generally make a lot more money per transaction with houses. 
and they go a lot easier and faster because they all go through escrow. So there are all these things we talk about with trusts and deeding property, with an escrow agent handles that. And your buyer pays for it the way you structure it. So if you make a lot of offers, you're going to make a lot of money. So none of the members ever come to us and say, I don't ever have a, ever had a member come up to come to us and say, this doesn't work. What I've had and what happens is it, members get pretty jacked up pretty fast because they realize it's hap- it's working and they don't build the correct infrastructure around and they start be not being, it gets out of control. It yeah. gets away from them. It can. They don't have a website done. They don't have all the stuff that we, uh, we suggest up front. They just, they want to get it in the mail and there's a lot of people calling back saying, yeah, I do want to do this deal. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, I would, kick out of that. well, I'm just listening to you because what it's, it's so perfect the way you, how you took this topic is all numbers and how I, t- I took this topic is not numbers. Oh, go, go. So yeah, it's so interesting. Tell so, me. so my, my take, my, my takeaways here are number one, don't use shortcuts. There are no shortcuts, you know, um, you just have to do it. You really do have to, you know, Jack, Jack and I show you all, I mean, A to B to C. I mean, that's why I think a lot of people love us too, is because people love us. We, well, too. <laughs> <laughs> so people love you. Thank you. Put but up we really me. do go A to B to C to D, yeah, you know, do. really, please don't miss this step. Don't take a shortcut. That's my thing. And don't, my other point is don't get in your own way. You know, I, I talk to, to people about members, about just, um, just do it, go for it, dive in, don't get in your own way. It's okay. You know, um, and it works. So that, that's, that's my, my point about this. You just got to make the offers. I love when we're on a, it's so funny when we're on our, we have a weekly member call that we do with all of our people. And it's Jack and I live and we have so much fun. And, and I love when we have a new member that says, okay, I, do- I dove in. I just sent out 3,000 offers on Tuesday. Oh my, it's hilarious. And it's great because all of the other members are like, hold on to your hat. Some of the more senior members are like, oh, here it goes. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> just be ready. What's great is they send them on Tuesday and they, they go, gosh, it's Friday. I haven't heard anything yet. Like, oh, it's coming. <laughs> you just wait. And then the next week. They may not even make the call because they're yeah. so busy. It's so funny. And they're like, what just happened? We're like, yep, right? I, You know, it's funny you bring that up because I, some of our most silent members, you know, the ones we never hear from, just, mm-hmm. they didn't, they just took it and ran. Mm-hmm. Like I had a call with somebody, a consulting call with somebody um, last Wednesday. I talk, We talked about it on the call, but this guy did 10 deals. Mm-hmm. And he made forty thousand dollars each. Mm-hmm. He made four hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars in a year in, a, in his first year doing this. That crazy, right out of the gate. Yep, and he flat out said on the call, he he, he really called me to thank me. Yeah, you know, and in it, and he said, I you know I have a bunch of kids and a full time job, and uh, I, I'm super pressed for time, and this thing worked, and, yeah. it, and it's working. Exactly. So now I'm planning to quit my job. That's I love that. Yeah, it was perfect. I love it. And so, you know, and he made a ton of offers. That's my point in saying this is that the numbers can get staggering if you want them to and you really work this the way it's supposed to be worked. I love that term unintended consequence, you know, or mm-hmm. I don't know what, but I, there's a lot of people I know that um, went down this path just to have a little bit of a, gosh, just a little bit of a cushion. I just want to get some little extra monthly money coming in to pay my mortgage or yep. You know, just take care of the kids' college and, you know, kind of things like that. And then the next thing you know, they're like, oh, this is going to be my business now. Now they get in and they, you know, there's a a lot of our people. It's a perfect fit for them. And they're like, no, I'm leaving my day job, you know, and and this is what's going to happen. Exactly. Here's some more math since Joe brought it up. (laughs) If you, if 1% of the properties you purchase, you buy, you send out a hundred letters, you buy one property. Let's say you make 2000 bucks. I think that's really fair and Very extremely fair. conservative. I just talked about for, making 40. Yeah. So you bought it. So, so you bought it for one, sold it for three. Yeah. So you make two grand on something exactly. like that. Yeah. Now what happens if you send out a thousand uh, letters? Mm-hmm. Right now you yeah. made 20 grand. Yep. How much should it cost? How much does it cost to send out? And this is a test, Jill, because I know I don't think you know, or maybe you do. Maybe I do. How much does it cost to send out a thousand letters? 
Well, about 50 cents, roughly, times that many. 500 bucks. Yeah. So you spend a couple hours and $500 mm-hmm. to make 20 grand. Yeah, let's think about that. And then after you do it a few times, it's not a couple hours anymore. It's a half hour. Mm-hmm. So the numbers can get staggering. With houses, you know, Jill and I wholesale them out, we, and we're transparent about it. We only make 10 grand per house. Mm-hmm. We could make a lot more, but we don't. We don't. I don't. We choose not to deal with. We get choose, in, get out. Yeah, we choose not. We choose. All my tools went to Goodwill a lot of years ago. We don't pick up hammers and clean. Yeah, and do stuff. He means really tools, <laughs> not just not in not internet tools. Yeah, he means no, like, I mean like a hammer, like a drills and yeah. things like that. Yeah, we're not hanging doors or any of that stuff. Exactly. So let's say it's two thousand to one. We'll be real conservative for houses. It's cost a thousand dollars, right? Fifty cents an mm-hmm. offer. To send out two thousand offers, so it costs a thousand bucks to make ten. Mm-hmm. All right, and it turnaround is you don't do any work there. Yeah, there's no work. I started a little storm, by the way, in bigger pockets with that number. <laughs> I threw was throwing out. Someone was asking me about offers. We were having a really good conversation just mm-hmm. in the last week, and I was throwing out some numbers, and they're like, "What the heck?" Yeah, because they're going, they're they're comparing, they're comparing it to yellow letters and click to mail and all that good stuff. They're mm-hmm. like. I thought it was good getting it down to 85 no, cents. No. I'm like, what the heck are you spending? What are you doing? We're in the mid 40s. You know, I'm Between like. 45 and 49 cents. It's cheaper than the price of a stamp. I know. I you mean, never, never go buy envelopes or any of that stuff. And people are like, really? And I'm like, yeah, you really can't do it. Don't mess around. Right. You know, do it right. Get a professional printer. <laughs> and I have told people this. I said, look, do you want to be in the printing business or do you want to be in the property business? Let's think about this. If you want to be in the printing business, then you go get your own stamps and maybe try to get them, maybe buy them off eBay. I've heard of people doing that, which is interesting. But because you got them just under a real stamp and then you have your, you know, you're getting a printer and ink and paper and envelopes. You don't want to do that. Well, you don't get any, there's huge advantages to the software process that goes on with a professional printer. Yeah, I didn't even touch on that's, that. You're that's right. the real issue. You know, yeah. the, it, these professional Bulk mail printing companies run all these addresses that you send them mm-hmm. through software to make sure that the press stuff's going to get delivered. So mm-hmm. You don't want to horse around and pay. Then then they take them. They'll take them out. Mm-hmm. They'll take the ones out that are not going to be delivered. And you because you don't want to waste fifty cents on that anyway. Exactly. So there's and there's that's just the tip of the iceberg with so, the software that th- what this software does. Mm-hmm. It's extremely efficient yep. and time and saves time and and uh, and everything else. So anyway, so back to the numbers. Let's say you make so for ever ever for every two thousand, you make so you spend a thousand bucks to make ten grand, in in about an hour 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 and a half of time. Let's say you send out twenty thousand, right? It costs ten grand to send out twenty thousand offers. It sounds like a lot of money until you sell the houses, right? And, and you've made fifty thousand dollars. Right. So I mean, the return is amazing. It's true. And I don't see any risk in it at all. Somebody's. If, if you see this as risky, um, this is not for you. Exactly. And that's fine. And that's okay. That's very true. You know, that's a good point. That's a really good point. I have no trouble telling people that too, by the way. <laughs> this isn't yeah. for you. That's okay. Exactly. Like I, I, we have people banging down our doors. Make offers. It's good. To make money. Join us in another episode where Jack and Jill discuss how to use information. That's me. I'm inspiration. That's me. To get just about anything you want. We'll use it every day to buy property for half or less of what it's worth and sell it immediately. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. Good show, Jill. Uh Uh-huh. I like that topic. It's a good topic. It does come up. It's very interesting. Doing that simple math, Jack, is very helpful for a lot of people. Yeah, you know, if you're brand new at this, or not brand new, if you're even very seasoned, but you're used to having your deal flow come from uh, real estate agents or the MLS or whatever, it's so hard to really believe this. Until well, you, you know, it's so it. interesting because then they're focusing on one or two or three or five properties. Yeah. And we're like, don't mess around. No. And don't even mess around with 100. I hear people like, oh, I'm going to send 100. Yeah. No, do this. Do 1,500. 1500. Yeah, let's get, let's, let's get a bunch out there and see what happens. Because, yeah, you're, because you will get something out of that. The more you send, it just makes sense. Exactly information and inspiration to buy undervalued property we We are jack and jill and this was the cash flow from land Land show Show. we are the experts at acquiring property of all kinds not just land for half price just so we can flip it for way more and really fast thanks for listening you are not alone in your real estate ambition